What is going on guys? It's Johnny, aka Tropical Fish Guy. Today we're going to be talking about an awesome, awesome fish. You know what it is, because you read the description, right? You know what it is, because you saw the thumbnail. The German Blue Ram, one of the most colorful, social, peaceful, vibrant fish you could get in the freshwater industry. Let's talk about it right now. So the German Blue Ram is a beautiful, peaceful, and very social South American cichlid. Yes, it is a cichlid with a great personality. All those cichlids are often thought of as aggressive fish. German Blue Rams are one of the best cichlids for a community tank. Check this guy out. He is so pretty. There's one there. Look at that, look how pretty he is. Uh, there's one behind right there. Oh, there's two right there. Look at that. One there, one there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, pretty one right here. Oh, looky there. Looky there. So the German Blue Ram is a vibrantly colored and peaceful fish. Perfectly suited for well-established community fish tanks. Their eyes are red with a vertical black band. Can you see that vertical black band? Kind of makes them look mean, but they're not mean. They're really nice, really peaceful, like I said. I mean, I just can't stress enough how nice they are. They do get kind of mean if they're breeding and stuff to other fish around them, but uh, usually they're really social, really peaceful. Their fins are yellow, as you can see. They got those blue dots on his face, the blue bands. That's really nice. Red eyes. Blue polka dots on the fins, blue blue back side of him. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fish. When you see a healthy ram in breeding condition, oh, there he is. You can see almost all the colors of the rainbow in one fish. I mean, these are some of the most colorful freshwater fish that are out there available. They do need to live in a peaceful community aquarium as they will struggle in an aggressive tank. Do not put these guys with large aggressive fish. There he goes, dominating, establishing his territory. Don't put these with big, big aggressive fish like Oscars or African cichlids or anything like that. Uh, bigger fish like angelfish are fine. Uh, there's a nice looking, look at that. Silver angelfish, huh? It's got those metallic scales. Anyway, it's about the blue ram, sorry. All these fish are cool looking. German blue rams can live with almost any community fish that can thrive in the same high temperatures, such as tetras, quarry cats, placos, discus, angelfish, as you saw there, and other dwarf cichlids. Look at that. Man, he's pretty. They don't do well with fast eaters. They have a little bit of a hard time competing. They'll get out competed for food. And if you put them in with larger fish like Oscars, they will be food. So like I said before, peaceful community tank, right? Look at that, isn't that pretty? Uh, and by the way, by the way, German blue rams are not from Germany, okay? The name German Blue refers to a color variation that was selectively bred in Germany and became popular worldwide in the aquarium trade. How funny is that? Not from Germany, but called German Blue Ram. The German Blue Ram cichlids are originally from South America. In the wild, they live in the Amazon River especially the Orinoco River Basin. There's a nice group right there. In Venezuela and Colombia. Blue rams are used to slow flowing rivers having plenty of veg vegetation, so it's important to have dense pockets of plants like you see here. All right, they love that. With plenty of open swimming space, okay? Lots of open swimming space. They've got plenty of places to, to swim, plenty of space to swim, I should say. And rocks are a must in your aquarium. So you gotta have a few rocks. I need to add some rocks in here. I'll do that later. 
Some good plants you can use for your aquarium are Java Fern, like I got here. Amazon Swords, I've got some back there somewhere. Uh, and Wisteria, got some Wisteria in there somewhere. Right there. Uh, and, and you can put other plants in there too. Easy plants are good. They don't mess up your plants or anything like that. The German Blue Rams will appreciate a heavily planted tank with lots of hiding spaces. You can use rocks or driftwood. I don't have any driftwood. They do like the driftwood. They do like the soft uh, to medium hard water. Rams spend most of their time swimming around the tank at all levels. You can see he's in the mid-level there. He's mid-level. He's on the lower level. So they go up and they swim across, up and down at all the levels. So, I mean, they are really fish that you'll see all the time. They don't hide a lot if they're comfortable. And they are a great addition to any community tank. Although you can keep single rams in a tank as small as 10 gallons, the recommended size is 20 gallons or larger, especially with multiple rams. This tank here is a 29 gallon tank with a lot of different species in there, a lot of different kinds of fish in there. If they're taken care of, they can live a happy life in your tank for up to four years. So you can have some rams, some pretty fish up to four years old, and they will breed in the aquarium if, if they have the proper water conditions. Speaking of water conditions, these are considered intermediate fish. They're not beginner fish. They're sensitive, very sensitive to water parameters. Therefore, it's crucial to give them the best environment possible. Good water quality is essential. The rams prefer soft to medium hard water with a neutral pH and slightly raised water temperatures. Slightly, I mean kind of, not slightly, like 84 to 86 degrees. It's important that your tank is well established and fully cycled with an excellent filtration system. So in this tank I've got a sponge filter, a massive sponge filter. I've got three hang on backs, which is kind of overkill, but one has crushed coral in there to keep the pH balanced. Probably don't need that kind of filtration, but at least like a power filter, hang on back, or a sponge, something like that. As long as the tank is well cycled. You don't want rams as fish that you're gonna cycle your tank with, okay? Blue rams are very sensitive to water conditions, so do frequent water changes, and you have to have excellent filtration system like I mentioned before. As far as what they eat, the German blue ram is an omnivore and eats a varied diet of both meat and plants. Obviously, that's what omnivore means, right? A healthy and balanced diet along with suitable water conditions will keep this fish healthy. So the key, right, is water condition and feed them good food. They're not very picky as far as what they can eat. You can feed them anything from flakes to pellets, freeze-dried stuff, blood worms, tube effects worms, that kind of thing. They also love frozen foods, such as brine shrimp, cyclops, blood worms, mice shrimp for the larger ones. They thrive best with a variety of foods, so they get all their essential nutrients and vitamins, they need to stay healthy. Yeah, we want healthy fish, don't we? Absolutely we do. They're so they're calm and peaceful. They don't, they're not skittish. The sexing of the rams is pretty easy as well. Males are usually bigger. Uh, these are look like females. You know how I can tell? Females have that, that red spot on the bottom of their body. As you can tell there, the one in the back, not this one. This one is, is a male. The male has a, doesn't have the red spot, that's the telltale on the bottom of their body. They've got high finage, high finage, that's a nice one there. High finage and males are usually bigger, more colorful with larger fins, but they sure way to tell, but the sure way to tell is if they've got that orange spot on their bottom of their body like so you can tell a little bit these are still juveniles once they get a little bit bigger you can tell if they have the telltale signs of the orange spot these guys don't have it but these might all be male I don't know but oh no that one right there in the back yep that one in the bag you can tell it will get a more orange spot And I'll show you that in a future video because these guys live so long, I'll be able to tell you once I see it. I think you can kind of see it there. 
but not really. Both the male and the female share the rearing of the fry, so they're good parents as well. They're very common in fish stores, at least here in Dallas. The price range is around eight bucks. I think I paid eight bucks for these. They can go up, and I saw the bigger ones. They were 15 bucks for the, for the large. So I bought the small ones. You know, I can raise them up. I love to see the fish grow up. I don't necessarily have to buy the, the big ones. You know, depending on the size of the ram, the bigger they are, the more expensive they are. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's take a look at these guys. Wonderful, wonderful. This dude here, this dude here is pretty. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, this one is the best looking one, I think. Look at that. Oh, come on, dude. He knows I'm looking. They're very smart, too. They know when you're trying to catch them, when you're trying to look at them. Look at that. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. In summary, German blue rams are some of the most colorful freshwater fish with an awesome personality. They're easy to feed and with proper attention to water quality and their special requirements of the temperature and the soft water, soft to medium hard water, they can be a favorite among aquarium keepers for several years and I plan on keeping these for several years. I would highly recommend German blue rams for fish keepers looking for a unique fish I mean these are these are so unique to me with all the colors that, that I think anybody would want to keep something like that so tell me what you guys think I mean give me a thumbs up for the German blue ram uh, like subscribe comment tell me what your favorite fish is question of the day what is your favorite fish hit that subscribe button if you like fish videos like this definitely check out my other videos Share this with somebody. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Check out my merch at fishytees.net. And most importantly, sign up for the newsletter. It's got fascinating fish facts. It's got videos. It's got stuff. It's not selling you stuff. And, you know, all that stuff's really good quality info on, on fish, fish keeping, tips and tricks, all that kind of stuff. So go to tropicalfishguide.com slash sign up and you will be getting the weekly newsletter. You know, we don't spam you to death or anything like that. We don't sell your information or whatever, but uh, definitely you'll get special info, special tips and tricks, fascinating fish facts, like I said. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it, and happy fish keeping. Peace.